Hi, re recording. Um, it's Saturday today, uh, the 30th of July 2016, and I'm just doing this video for um, Port Awanui and Rotoria East for the Te Horo Marae and um, Dick Carlson and his wife are involved with the Marae there. Um, I've put together this agenda for a hui, or a meeting, I uh, would like with the um, taumata there, the, the um, kaumatua on the marae. I uh, haven't been there um, before, so um, I'm part of the Rangitukia Haho 7B block, uh, one of 30 blocks of land that I'm part owner in, uh, from East Cape, Rangitukia, Tikitiki, Rotoria, uh, to um, Wairau, um, and across to Apodiki, um, Omayo, Tekaha, um, Te Araroa, East Cape, Whakangiangi, Maraihara, and Tikitiki back to Tiki Tiki again. <clears throat> so land blocks there that I've wanted to do for a long time, some of the projects I have um, pending. It's always been trustees that have blocked this way and um, put it off. The Aqua Farms mainly um, and other uh, projects I wanted to do in other blocks in Lotton Point and um, um, East Cape on the Marangaro Sea block. So we will be getting closer to where our goal is to start work on one block at least out of those 30 blocks um, of land. Um, happens to be hearing a <coughs> A12, uh, the first um, of a, ever I've done before, um, approach the Timutumu Pairoa Trust or the Old Maori Trustees Office has changed its name and its spots and produced a new name. Uh, so I'm going along with that after having a meeting on the Arataha A1 and A2 blocks where Dick, um, you've uh, been working your stocked um, beef and sheep uh, for a long time as well as other blocks of land um, that I'm interested in just the ones where you are in Rotorua and Port Awanui. Uh, you're an old school friend of mine in Whakatane, so I'm hoping that we will um, work together uh, within the community there at um, Port Awanui. My vision there is to rebuild the, or restore the old village, the Port Awanui Township, uh, one day. That's in the future, providing we make a start on um, hitting a 12 block and set our business up. <coughs> I've been in business for over 30 years, uh, mainly in the uh, mechanics business. After leaving uh, Tiki Tiki, um, City 8's garage, as a mechanic apprentice, finished the apprenticeship and passed my exams there and on to the oil rigs, uh, Shell Todd, uh, um, uh, Indonesia exploration as a deckhand, rough hand, uh, roughneck uh, mechanic. So <clears throat> got a bit of experience there on that project from Tikapa to Tipuia and spent most of my time playing rugby for uh, Ngati um, Waipu team and uh, having 
uh, our water hole in the Tiki Tiki Waiapu um, Hotel um, Highlands, um, Pat Highland, and um, he owned it. And Percy Yates, the shop down the road, Dairy, and uh, Sid Yates, his brother, uh, my boss, and aircraft engineer. So that's how I took a bit of interest in flying aircraft from his books I read and while he wasn't looking. Um, I was going through them and um, so I got a bit of experience from there. Ted Garth um, was a mechanic too, diesel mechanic. Then we did the lighting plants in the area um, for the education education department so I was maintaining the education buses um, um, in Tiki Tiki and the lighting plants as well and farming equipment and all that so from there on to Tokoroa in the forestry and heavy machinery um, and equipment heavy earth moving machinery and also logging machinery uh, so I picked up a lot of experience in flying aircraft as well um, and onto the Waikato Aero Club there at Amersfield in Tokoroa. To so I learnt a lot of flying there um, up to um, uh, East Coast uh, flying there and up to um, uh, across the other side. Um, on the east coast, I've got what's the name of the place now. Anyway, Coromandel Way, out that way. So and um, um, Tikuri, was some other places I flew to. Apart from around Auckland, um, after shifting up from Tokoro in the bush up to um, the dairy company, so I had a lot to do with dairy. Um, cows and trucks and milk trucks and whatnot. Then on to self-employment um, <clears throat> for myself in mechanics, garage and 13 mechanics, uh, installing CNG, LPG, uh, alternative fields and cars. So that comes into uh, that side of things. And then on to um, um, real estate and um, um, land issues uh, to where we are with land titles and also mortgage broking in bank. Uh, did a lot of that and then um, uh, had my own limousine company and stretched limousines and built the longest biggest one then and um, uh, finished that uh, to pursue a career, a career in aqua farms, went to Japan, picked up a lot of experience there. We have people there to come over here and help us to put that together in in the sea at the East Cape. <coughs> so it saves time mucking around. Just bring the experts in to live with us on that block and train our people how to do aqua farms in the open seas. That's what we're doing there. <coughs> when I went across there and lived with the Japanese on the farms um, for sushi, seaweed um, manufacturing, and also um, fishing, fishing, um, Isotobi, Japan. Okay, so that just gives you an idea of um, all the experience I picked up there apart from uh, people skills and uh, also dealing uh, with um, mammy noodles and products from Malaysia uh, with my brother um, and uh, then on to uh, the building industry, um, uh, high rise and the parliament buildings on the earthquake shock system underneath it. Uh, we had concrete construction business going in Auckland. <coughs> with main zeal and um, um, then I broke out on my own um, building 
high rise as well. So we're back into that field again here um, after doing a lot of research in the tidal energy as being gas is my um, pet subject and then it went into finance and gold bullion and also the pound node. So we put all that together and on Marae, so I put Titi Marae and, and Waitangi Marae with Kingi Taurua <coughs> and the chiefs up there for many years, over 20 years now, experience on Marae's and constructing um, proper um, executive meetings on Marae and um, this one's no different when you look at the agenda, it's quite a bit of things to cover in one day. Um, usually would take three days to um, a week to, to put that meeting on successfully. So we're putting a lot of effort into setting it off at the East Coast. We had plans to go to Scotland and Ireland <coughs> and at Margate in um, England. Um, up from um, Dover. Um, we've got some friends there that um, we would have started with the project anywhere in the world. Uh, anyone, that's the Tidal Energy Project, the Moai Tidal Energy Project. So I've chosen to stay here because of Brexit. Uh, the political scene in Britain has changed with the uh, Queen going out overboard and abandoning ship as in Admiralty terms of this flag. <coughs> she went into the EU Parliament and is helping to sell off um, England, Wales and Britain, UK. With the event of her going, it has left a void inside Westminster. That's the role I'm going to fill after we set up here with this flag flying on Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. We already opened that Marae for business with the Hapu and Kingi Taurua's land there um, from the 15th on the 15th of March 2016 this year. We opened that Marae up and it's on the video on this um, Hui um, meeting. We'll be discussing how that works in the commercial world, uh, international market of trade and investment, banking and the pound note, the Maui King William IV pound note, straight to Britain, our partner. Um, Britain UK is only left with England and Wales and us, Aotea, New Zealand and Pacific Islands under this flag um, <coughs> of King William IV. So I just wanted to uh, blend all these um, things into um, some dialogue to have with you, the audience watching, how we construct a piece of land to make better of its use and shares to the owners, the sharehold owners in that block, um, for them to have some sort of benefit from it, including the community, because all the blocks are cut up in little blocks all over this country. It's no different from Hitting, hitting a, a 12 block and no different from Waitangi block and 77 Cook Street block in Auckland that we are seizing. Okay, so I just wanted to see per square metre how much return that it would bring under a Moai powerhouse group concept of Admiralty Court Martial Law and Kings, not Queens, Kings. <coughs> jurisdiction of authority of an emperor. The queen in all her glory has mucked up all their commerce and it's ended up fighting ISIS and one country fighting the other. That's all you see and the devastation of our lands has come under that queen and John Key's government. They're going to get the bill for us fixing up the land where they had to give it back to us because 
we are defaulting them in the contract because the Queen has gone and they're running fraud here, rife, without authority. They have no seal of the Queen, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and so, <coughs> they've got to give the land back to us how they found it. Well, it's wrecked. It's impossible to fix the Waipu River for, for once, for, for instance. You can see the hill um, carved out on our land at um, the Hiranga A11 block and the result of that was to cut down the trees to that holds the hills up and the hills fell in to the sea. You can see it there, prime example of that piece of land on the south side of the little river there, Port Awanui, and on the north side you can see the trees are still there and the land's intact with where they've cut the trees down the land has slipped on the other side of the trees. Just shows you the graphic sight of the devastation of a colonial government that's come here and wrecked these lands. And the Hapu chiefs and me will restore the land back to its original state and build them. We're going to build them with the pound note. That's our levy debtor instrument that <coughs> is crucial to our resurrecting or restoring our land back to its uh, original state. That includes all the indigenous people in the world. I'm speaking with this flag here, because King William's free passage through the world flag will take us, send, send us around the world with our trade directly to Britain, our partner. Britain, UK, England and Wales is obligated to us as their partner to bring us into Westminster Parliament as the third country and the second partnership. That means a second party. <coughs> John Key and anybody else is the third party to this contract. We have still under this flag is 182 years old this year, um, um, marking the arrival of the British Navy in Kororareka, Russell, Bay of Islands. So I'm just saying this flag I've got on this agenda is very important to link us together as Hapu in the same common <coughs> goal of restorative justice on our land and restorative, restorative lands back to its original state by this government and they've taken all the goodness out of our land, the trees, the wealth of those trees, we'll build them all for everything they did wrong and didn't disclose the pound note that they use of the Rothschilds and the fiat money scam system that they've been using in the banks all these years. They're going to get the bill. That's why it's 970 million trillion trillion pound note bill on their heads. At this stage, each person is liable. The Pope said everyone is liable who commits fraud while he has taken his laws away from the government here and all the governments in the world, his um, um, canon law, civil law, courier law, UCC law, and civil law, and admiralty law, he's taken all those away from John Key and his government here, and he hasn't touched ours. He cannot touch this while it's in the existing state of a contract between the Hapu native and the British military and government. Okay, so that's us um, explaining to you Dick Carlson, my friend at Port Awanui. <coughs> I'm letting you know the hui involves us in trading with the seabed for sure and all those resources out there we own. John Key does not own them. He, he hasn't showed us a title at Waitangi yet. And Kingi kicked them off the land. And so <coughs> we are sticking to that and obligating um, the British military is obligated and the Navy is obligated to fix that problem up for us. And we're going to link the East Coast um, Hapu to Waitangi and the contract to Britain. Okay, so that's what I want to make.
quite clear on this video that I'm coming there to uh, Port Awanui for good reason to restore the British English village up there on the flat at Port Awanui Township. That's what I want to link that back together, back how it was, and restore it. Okay, that's part of the plan of all the projects I want to do there. And that's quite different to projects I want to do at Rangitukia on the river mouth. All that land is wrecked all the way up, up the river. We're going to build them from your complaints on the Marae and I'll put it together and take them and authorize them through Waitangi straight to Britain. Okay, so that's how it's all going to happen right through this country because they've got the elite people have got their money out of it and left it in a mess. Now we're going to build them for that. Okay, there's the consequences of shutting their mouth and saying nothing. John Key is not fronting up to the chiefs up there or to other chiefs. The Ngāti Whātua Oraki has banned them from coming on to the Marae and because of TPPA. So I'm um, lining all those things up politically and TPPA, that's part of the hui, in the morning, the first part of the morning on the 29th Friday of 26th or 29th, I'll just check that up again, it's on the 19th. Sorry, it's on the 19th, no, 26th, tw Friday the 26th of August 2016. That's when the meeting is. Um, I'm hoping, I had to put it ahead now, I have to change the dates all the time because I haven't got confirmation from the Marae yet. And I'm hoping to work with that Marae straight to Ranfilly Bank and in the seabed titles. Um, I'm, I, I'm, I know there's not many people know how that works. International waters law, that's my business. The law of the sea, king, there's no way else to do it. There's no way else to do it because they're all going under the British titles to do law of the sea. Americans use the law of the sea from British Westminster Parliament. There's no way of getting around that on any coastlines of any country without going through the British in their waters, in the Commonwealth countries' waters. So that's why I'll just let people down there know it's not an easy thing for anybody if you're not in real estate or you're not in the marine field of law um, and contract law on top of that. And this is a contract law flag. You can't use anything else, instruments, this is a bank instrument, a pound note instrument. It is a protectorate military instrument of Navy. And the Navy here is supposed to adhere to this flag, but they won't because they're not getting paid. Once we get the fraud people locked up, then we we'll seize the land back, and then the Navy will jump in. Okay, so it's coming to a crunch uh, at this stage with Hillary Clinton and Obama going to get caught for all the fraud they're doing. There's fraud rampant and John Key's going through the United States to get his power here around the back door, not through the front straight to the Queen somewhere else. She's not operating as a Queen as such but it's still her head still on their documents and above the judge's head. That's the part I'm challenging in the court. The Auckland District Court. I'm going as a King's Bench Court Sheriff and Judge in that court with my barrister. I'm waiting for him to come back um, on the 4th of August next month uh, and I'm having a meeting with him to thrash this out and the birth certificates, the power note, all that fraud business that's rampant in this country and also the Panama tax havens. That's another one. I'm taking them on, square on. That's part of my profession in the native law. The native law and international court martial law of this flag. Okay, I have a right under the Hapu Chiefs 
authority from uh, from Waitangi. Um, I get my authority from Kingi Tauru, and um, I go straight to Britain, Westminster. That's my job to go there and raise the flag in Westminster. It's a British flag anyway, um, and a Maui Hapu flag. It's not an Iwi Maori John Key government Queen flag. Okay, just one they can't use it because it's a contract. It is a private <coughs> contract flag. <coughs> and there's no way anybody is going to come near that. And the king and the chief. Okay, so um, the people down there in uh, Port Owenui and Rotoria and Tiki Tiki, um, uh, there's a message for you. Uh, the first part of the hui in the morning is for two hours from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Um, matters you'll see on the agenda and the afternoon is for uh, a landowners meeting for the um, uh, owners of um, hitting a 12 block that's what I'm taking from the 1st of October lease um, to set up our Moai tidal energy um, business on top of the hill and also to set up the quarry uh, proposed quarry in the A10, A11 A block and the A10 block. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, enough people will come to the hui and you're watching this video. Uh, take note that um, it is a public uh, discussion in the morning and questions after I give a presentation. For about half an hour it'll take to an hour and then questions after that and then lunch and then on to the first part in the afternoon, uh, hitting an A12 meeting for an hour, and then it's the hitting an A10 meeting after that. Um, and then three o'clock, uh, we should be winding up and uh, further questions, you can ask questions from there till we close up. There's a koha box, I usually, my meetings have a box with a slot on the top to put your koha in the top because it's going to cost a bit if we have a big crowd and also the information you're getting is very valuable uh, to yourselves as members if you're going to become a member then that's the opportunity to become a member for anybody joining the Maui Powerhouse group is in London the Maui Powerhouse 1 that's the first of many to come is <coughs> on that land block um, then it's a £25 share, free share, to join as a member on your mobiles. We have tag pay, that is how we pay people working for Maui and credit them with whatever we recover uh, from fraud and the pound note, for whatever we sell to a bank as a trillion pound note. So if it's 3%, that's 30 billion straight off into the bank um, and that's how we do it with the pound note um, as currency uh, so this just I'm just covering a lot of area in this video so that you can get as much as possible from what I've stuck together on our website moaipowerhouse.com m-o-a-i h-o-u-s-e oh so they get moaipowerhouse.com m-o-a-i-p-o-w-e-r-h-o-u-s-e dot c-o-m moaipowerhouse.com go there as soon as you open the website the application box is there to fill in it just puts your <coughs> phone number um, mobile only and your address name because we don't want to pay somebody that's not there properly proper name and phone and so once you press the send button on the little box it will go to my email and I'll send you back a screen print of the receipt as being pending to us opening the shares up online um, for the certificates the certificates are there but I won't release them until we get up set up on that land. I haven't I've held it off 
till we're all ready to go and um, systems are in place and secured the land, okay? And Cook Street's sorted out. <coughs> right. <coughs> the um, the agenda. Oh, I lost it now. The agenda. I'm just going to find it again now. Um, I'll just find the agenda again. I just seem to have misplaced it. Here we go. So I'm just going to read it to make it a bit better. Uh, because some people don't have Facebook and they can't see it. And I want to appeal to the landowners um, that this is one way of getting uh, the message out is for people to tell somebody else about the meeting. Otherwise, I'll put it into the Gisborne Herald and on the Ngāti Pro radio, especially for that area down there. But a lot of people cannot be contacted because I'm waiting for the Maryland Court and Te Tumutumu Pairo to send me the addresses of all the landowners. <coughs> so far, I've got none, nothing. I've got uh, letters from the um, uh, um, Gisborne District Council from Kerry Hudson with the blocks, with the erosion parts of the block on it. But I, I'm waiting back on the um, land care to send me more of the soil reports in detail um, for its use as quarry to um, extract it for concrete cement uh, for the aqua farms on uh, Ranfilly Bank and for bracing up the shorelines so the hill doesn't get chewed off from the sea. So we make breakwaters out of them. Particularly we're making homes, houses, um, from the material we get from the hill in cement, uh, earth, concrete and steel. Our homes are um, a welded construction and <coughs> they are suited to uh, shaky ground like what's on those grounds there as being erosion prone. So we are using those buildings to go under the sea as well um, on the projects and for future developments in the sea uh, and the buildings on the site out there on the platform bridge uh, construction to weather the conditions and to seal the metal from rusting. That's the most important thing with the seal uh, uh, enzymes and permazine um, uh, to mix with the clay so that it would seal the steel from rusting. And our houses are um, strong. They can fall down a cliff and straighten themselves up and just put them back there and they don't bend. Uh, so um, that's one good thing about them, um, um, they're pretty robust, okay, that's the idea. So this is what I'm going to read this um, out to you, um, for those people who haven't got Facebook and they can watch a video. Notice to the landowners, this is today, i put it together, there's 42 photos in this um, 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 Facebook site as well just showing the land block and the typical erosion of uh, the land and the degradation of the, the quality of the lands that we are left with to fix. Um, so this is, um, this is the first part of the um, notice. Notice to the landowners of Heringa A10, A11 and A12 land blocks this is a public notice for you to attend this meeting at Te Horo Marae after I confirm it with the Marae. have not got a firm date for it yet, so I will email it to all concerned now, including a public meeting for the local community on Friday the 19th. That should be the 26th. I had it on the 19th before. 26th. So it's a week later now. Um, 26th or on a Saturday 27th of August 2016. The meeting is for Maui Tidal Energy Projects and Quarry Operations on the Heringa Blocks 
for proposals for extracting clay rock for building materials and erosion control of land subsidence and the use of clay for cement works and building industry, aqua farms and tidal energy projects on Radfully Bank um, administered on this land headquarters. That's on the heading A12 block um, land where we our headquarters will be set up for these operations. <coughs> Headquarters of King William IV British UK Government Military Court Martial Law of the Sea Admiralty Jurisdiction and 1835 Declaration of an Independent Sovereign Nation State of Self Government Authority Direct to Britain as a Maori Crown Native Hapu Commercial Trading Bank Partnership in Business as filling a void for. Brexit exit of Queen Elizabeth II and Scotland with Ireland into the EU Parliament <coughs> as a conflict of interest to our private contract with Britain, UK government and Navy military currently 182 years old this year. That's this flag I'm talking about. <coughs> I'm talking about the setup we have is straight British um, and not John Key's government in Wellington. That's the Queen's um, affair. That's debtors. We're creditors operating straight to Britain authority over these lands. We're using the British titles which I have here with me <coughs> over these lands. Um, on the 28th of October we have the celebrations this year for 182 years of this flag at Kororadaka, Russell Bay of Ireland when the first British Navy ship arrived and settled there. Okay, so that's what the authority we're running on this Marae Hui and up that hill on the Hedinger blocks. That's got an English village at Port Awanui Township. That's an English village, English people and Spanish. So that fits this flag and why it's only straight to Britain. Okay, so just explaining who we are how we operate our authority, jurisdiction, and constitution of this flag. Everything's wrapped up in this flag, straight away. <coughs> uh, we're filling the void of of Queen Brexit exit of the Queen Elizabeth's gone into the EU Parliament, and Scotland's gone too as well, with Ireland into the EU Parliament as a conflict of interest to our private contract here, this flag with Britain, UK government and Navy military. So that's what I'm saying to John Key. He has a problem now with our continuity of sovereignty to this land, his title, to Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, King, King Itaura, Chief King Itaura, endorsed our contract between Eringa land owners and Te Horo Marae Hui in this partnership, direct to British government, Westminster Parliament, New Britain. The New Britain includes Maui, Hapu, Native Chiefs of Aotea, New Zealand and Pacific Islands. Notice I didn't say anything about Maori. The Maori iwi is an invention of the Crown Corporations and John Key's government. The Maori and the Crown belong that side. The Maui and the Hapu belongs to the King and this flag. Okay, so see the notice the difference? The mischievous ones is John Key wrecking the place and we are here as the king with the kick and the pound note to Bella. Okay? That's how we do it. Um, British partners for economic economic um, start again. Um, Westminster Parliament, New Britain. The New Britain includes Maui Hapu Natives Chiefs of Aotea, New Zealand and Pacific Islands and our local communities joining us in this new British Native Partnership Economic Development Project at Port Awanui with the Maui King William for pound note currency. That's, that's what I'm saying about this pound note. We're bringing it straight in after Cook Street. It goes straight in as currency on the phone. Okay, pound note converts to other currencies on the phone. It's all set up on their website. <coughs> As you can see, he's closed 
King William is clothed in his gold coin, and Admiralty King Emperor, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, the world now in 250 countries under this flag of King William III. St. Patrick's Order, eight point star, is on our sheriff's badge that we hold. You'll notice <coughs> that I have on the first page of this agenda uh, King Ernest Augustus the fifth. He's the bloodline inheritor of this flag and King William the third, King William the fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the first and also King George the third, the father of those ones I just said. Okay. Uh, we're going into two hundred and fifty countries with this flag and the eight point star is in the four corners of the earth on this flag. There's no other flag like this. Alright, four corners of the earth and the blue admiralty sea and blue skies. That's this flag's authority to go anywhere in the world straight off that block. Okay, to trade, we're trading. I've set up the trade and with all those countries in membership, membership of the twenty-five pound note to everyone in the world joining straight inside this road on that website. Okay, so you're not alone. You need the numbers. Um, you know, people, uh, Dick Carlson, uh, you need the numbers from all over the world to boost your numbers up here over four million of John Key's population here. You'll get it in no time once we get heading off. It's, I want to start here first rather than go up to Scotland because if this didn't work here, I'm off straight to Scotland because they'll buy into this tidal turbine project. <coughs> it's massive on hydrogen. There's no other way to make hydrogen jet fuel economically except this way. Okay, hydraulics in the sea is the only way to do it. Um, uh, eight point star on this flag and Acts of Westminster Parliament 1830 to 1837. We use those acts straight off that block. We can use the Hanging and Chains Act. We can use all those old acts for pirates. That's what this flag is for, pirates who wreck our lands and wreck the sea, the fish and everything, and Obama and Clinton's fraud. It deals with fraud. That's what we're doing here on the Marae at Te Horo. We're setting up the King's Bench Court, the same as from Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. Just the highest authority is the Marae. Once you've got this flag flying, that's it. It takes the authority straight into England through Westminster and to Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. That's the contract. The main contractor is that Marae in Kingi Taurua. <coughs> with him being Queen Victoria, <coughs> King Edward Lyme, he's on that side of the trust, the Queen Victoria Trust, 1848, that's his business. I'm looking after the bank note, that's our business. Okay, that's our business, to look after the bank, the real bank note, not Rothschild's fraud bank note. You'll notice that our pound note has two bars on its signature pound note patent. Everything under this flag and the Moai statue standing in London is a patent. We have our own patents for honey, for marijuana, for any resources in the sea or land. We're going out 500 miles. I've already put those titles together in the 2004 Foreshore and Seabed Act that Helen Clark passed and we said no, she said yes. She gets the bill. There's a trillion pound note on each politician's head right back. That's the ones like Geoffrey Palmer who changed our constitution from 1852 to 1986 then took the whole lot. That's coming to him. You're answerable. You're as a consequence of your fraud. Um, Bellamar tax havens and all the elite businesses are going to get the bill. All the corporate business who are using this flag of Admiralty, you'll have to tell me 
who you get your admiralty court martial laws and your laws of the sea from which king or which queen has got a navy ship of her own as a pilot on it not as assumed or vice admiral those don't work you need a real admiral authority that created those acts is this king that created those acts of parliament 1838 and 37 to do mortgages you won't find any other king in the world and a flag of a king that does mortgage and bank loans it's only this one so the pope never had any ship of admiralty he borrowed this one if he's using it he gets the bill too so everyone that's mucking around with it gets the bill so i'll just finish off this uh, 1878 Moai, Crown Native, Hapu, Sovereign Authority, we hold as landowners over this country estate lands title, sworn on uh, Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, on the 15th of March 2016, and on the 26th of August 2016 on Te Horo Marae. I've got 19th of August on my notice here, but until I get confirmation that I've got the Marae, been over a week now I haven't got an answer back yet so we've got um, seven pages of the agenda and um, there's quite a few things in it um, I'm just saying I won't read those out because uh, there's a lot of things to talk about I'll just um, explain um, just in brief um, what what is on there it goes like this um, the first part of the morning is um, the porphyry. That'd be about around about nine or uh, ten o'clock. Ten o'clock, um, and then we go straight into the community uh, meeting. That's for the local people and for council who want to come. That's why I had it for Friday, so other uh, crown people can attend um, uh, who wish to come and listen. Um, otherwise you can get it off the video um, so from that discussion and presentation uh, we'll be talking about all the issues that I've just been explaining including the potential of employment in the district uh, area uh, with uh, construction building and construction heavy machinery and um, uh, fisheries uh, in the sea and um, also with um, um, other um, things like garage workshops and uh, maintenance um, for uh, machinery uh, and uh, marine ships building. Uh, I've got a friend that builds ships and he'll be building our submarines there and um, most of our uh, hydrogen um, equipment for the rig out on the Ranfilly Bank. It's going to be looking after all the hydrogen manufacture, the turbines, as an engineer himself and fit on Turner and um, also uh, um, uh, his profession as, a, as a hydrogen engineer and shipbuilder. So he'll be bringing flying in as aircraft as well as me for um, training of uh, pilots and training of uh, divers, um, commercial divers and also training, I'm hoping to have the British military personnel fly in there uh, and come and on our site. We have building, uh, housing, um, construction, building and roads and um, um, machine operators training and we also have um, fly-ins for people uh, that are joining us as members, my powerhouse members uh, from other countries. So we are not limited to just here. We have overseas people interest following us on Facebook. Um, Dick, we have um, um, any amount of people applying for jobs from everywhere who are experienced in the sea, fisheries and also um, aqua farms and diving and commercial uh, operations um, 
and including minerals and um, those are some things we are going to police, have police, um, uh, marine police, sheriffs, um, sheriffs that have a badge to police the seas and the skies for any intruders and they get the power note and we seize any equipment from them with our authority of the sheriff is the king's authority. We use the king's authority to seize anything in our territory and including the South Pole. That's going from here to there as well. So we, we are able to have drones to go out and to surveillance our areas of fisheries because there's a lot of boats coming in. I just heard the locals say the boats are coming right in to the Ranfrey Bank and fishing it out. That's our resource. They're stealing our resources. And we want to protect that from these blocks of land. Take note, this is serious. Uh, even when John Key is bringing the American Navy in here with their nuclear ships without our authority, that's criminal. He's already a criminal, uh, John Key, is already acting criminal against our law and uh, is in treason already with Helen Clark and all those others who are Simon Bridges and all those people who are selling this country to TPPA without our chief's authority and without mine, the sheriff and the king's authority. All right, I'm a surrogate king speaking for King William III and speaking for King William IV. King William III, the saviour of St. Patrick's Order, that's this authority of the eight points why it's on this flag and flying. It's the real flag of Admiralty Bank mortgage liens. And so you'll get a mortgage lien right on top of you if you're playing around with this British law and us contract. We are locked in a contract that has been put in the shelf in the cabinet in Wellington Parliament for a long, long time. Now, we have opened ourselves up in Waitangi Marae to use this authority regardless of what John he says. That's our business with the British. Okay, so these, uh, those are just some of the things that I'm explaining here. Apart from the uh, tidal turbines, which is uh, uh, technology at its best, and uh, what better place to do it than here on that land block and that resource, that natural resource of clay for sealing the steel that's going to go onto that Ranfurly Bank site because it's around about 40 50 meters deep, and we're going to hang off, off into the deep from the rocks solid to hold it all together so that it's not become a hazard in the sea. There's more ships sinking than that's going to be solid uh, fixed into the rock. So we're going to have international engineers fly in there, come with their expertise. We're going to work online to communicate by remote because they'll have to join as members in the Moai state government here, Commerce, co Commonwealth Government of the World, this flag is the Maui King William IV Commonwealth Government of the World. So people joining in the countries through their governments and we don't have to sell ourselves too hard because you either trust the King or trust the Queen, wherever she is in Brexit, in EU Parliament falling apart. That's all falling apart because it's not honest. It's not honest. This is fraudulent, it's pirate, and it won't last. It's not made to last. So those are things that I'm saying here to you, Dick, uh, that the agenda um, uh, for the landowners, for the Heringer A12 landowners, will be in the afternoon from 1 to 2 o'clock and uh, so give them a chance to hear this out but I'm saying it all on this video anyway so there was no need much more than to consent to it or not it's either in or out with it um, 
uh, otherwise um, it's beyond anybody to know that much in a short time. I'm hoping that you can get at least some of it, absorb some of it, but once the finance drops in place and the power note picks up, that's it. You just need to, I, I got the power note sitting in the ANZ bank. Now, we just need to sell one power note to them. It's 3% at the moment on the power note, if, even if we went to 2%. That's 20 billion a year in interest just on one trillion power note on one fraudster's head. What happens is the fraudster loses all his land, all, all everything he owns, locks them up, and that money goes back to all his members who bother to join us. And apart from that, we use it to expand very quickly. And their assets are added up against the trillion pounds, and the Queen wears the rest of it. The balance of it goes to her, the Rothschild banks, and the Pope and his church. The Church of England, everyone who's usurped this flag fraudulently without disclosing to us the partner of Britain. Britain's just as liable to the fraud, but we are telling them to go and get the money back and the assets, the land, the everything back from the people we name. When people join us, they tell us the complaint and we file it into the court, High Court of Admiralty in London or our Marae. If we can deal with it with the Marae, it saves us a lot of money going to the High Court of Westminster in, in, in London. Okay? It's too much paperwork to do it, but it's all done online. The High Court, I uh, put the 77 Cook Street property seizure into the High Court of Admiralty in London. You do it online, you do these court cases online, and they have to go there. You don't have to. They have to go and appear before court. If they don't, they lose it. That's what I'm saying. They all go there, and if they can't, they're gone. So the balance of that is paid out through the military to recover it and annex debt collectors in London that we're paying for every month the fees to recover all that money and on Cook Street we're recovering all that debt owed by those owners and the police who covered them up and aided and abetted them and also everyone there who did that to me and came in my house and arrested me and locked me in prison. They gotta pay for that and they have to own up who's the bond they're using on me to extract money out of me as a blackmail to keep me from going to prison. Right? You have to buy your way out of prison and they're the ones the thugs operating that business. That's what I want to disclose. I got full disclosure from the judge to tell me who is the other John Wanoa that's picking up the tab and the money paid themselves handsomely. So those are some of the things I, I, everybody's going through in the world, the same scenario. And this is where I'm doing my bit to help that problem with the local people why they're so poor. You wonder why they're so poor. It's those thugs and pirates who are operating this flag for their own use and it's our plan. Okay, so that's that's all I want to say this uh, video. Uh, oh, the 18 block, hitting a 18 block, um, I wanted to have a meeting with you um, and Roger Heidewa, I'm going to ring him on Tuesday. He's in the hospital at the moment. I'm going to wait for him to get back. He's just up the road from our place in Whakaangangi. Um, so I've known him for a long time, went to school with him, primary school. Uh, so he's um, he's the main trustee on the Hiranga blocks in that village and the Pepeles. Um, uh, so Roger gets on with me. I'm not in his bad books. So um, and neither is uh, Edward uh, Walker at East Cape. He's in my good books. I'm in his good books. So there are a few people that are uh, supporting me, including Tamati Reed and Rangitukia uh, and Ravarakar there. 
Um, so they'll hopefully be coming to the meeting. They're watching what I'm doing online. Uh, and it's good so far. We've had no problems. And we've only had silent people in the government, John Key, and uh, they can't hack all this stuff on Facebook. But it's admissible in the High Court of Admiralty in London and now Supreme Courts in America and Australia. They're starting to recognise Facebook as um, admissible evidence in courts. That's why we have 68 websites on Facebook to put everything in there. What you see I'm writing there is truth. Nothing but truth, so help me God. It's the truth, I say, as my own name, John 10 in little lowercase letters. Anything you see with John 10 in uppercase, that's a fraud pirate operating the business that I'm wanting to disclose with my barrister when he comes back. Um, I've been waiting since March or February, uh, January, for him to show me the other part of the disclosure. The police sent me only the end bit of their disclosure and it doesn't show what I want to see as the sheriff's authority to disclose to me and the British military and government, right? We have our way with the British now. I'm going to walk straight into Westminster as their partner with this pound note zinging away in front of them as being better than any other currency apart from the Rothschilds US dollar. It's nothing but fraud and it's come out of their pound note. They took the banks of England and we're going to bankrupt them, you see, with the pound note, with this pound note, because King William IV put it together, right? And he gave his authority to us. Nobody else should be using it. Only us. Not Maori. Not Maori, but the natives. You'll find that the 1840 treaty is fraud. It's a fraud contract because it has no end date, and that's fraud straight out. And because it's laced with fraud um, principles of the treaty. Principles of the treaty. Everything has been fashioned around their Maori invention name in 1945 in the war period that gave that name Maori. They cut the land blocks into Maori titles. Those are the Maori land blocks I'm on now. It's my word against anybody's word. That's how we do it. A native's word against anybody's word. Where did you get it from? Who's, who gave you the authority to sell it? And where did your name fit into it? Who's your ancestor with your surname? Not someone else's surname. You don't borrow names or make them up. A real surname. I've got a list of them. The British got the list. The British knows who's crooking who because they know all the crooked names, right? So we define who's who in a court. On a marae, or in the high court, or in the, in the district court, put it that way, in the district court, if you don't answer to someone's affidavit online, you're gone. Simple as that. If you can't hack any of the things I put online, there's no contest. That's what I'm doing on this court case against these landowners in Cook Street. If they cannot answer with a title and their lawyers won't touch me, won't go near me, their barristers, their lawyers, their convincing landlords won't go and entertain because they'll get strung up. They'll get libeled straight off because they put the crooked titles together. I saw it all the way through being in real estate. You see? It paid to be in real estate to do any of this work because this flag is real estate. It is commercial instrument for selling lands and anything valuable. Any prized possession the king says he owns, he takes. He confiscates. He doesn't compensate. He confiscates. That's what a sheriff's supposed to do in the states of America. They're better than the federal states. Right? The federal states is just a jumped up name of a king who's not there. Obama once said he was a king, but now he's saying he's not. Um, he won't say he's a crook. The only 
Donald Trump says Hillary's a crooked, crooked crook, uh, and so he's right. But then again, he's with Israel. Israel, unfortunately for me, is on my bad books because of the killings. I don't like killing. Maui doesn't like killing people, especially children. And what the Israel's doing with children <coughs> and people who rape people and all those those things going on with um, old men marrying nine-year-old kids, that's, that's Sharia law and all that. that, that's just popped out of nowhere. And the, the, the Queen allowed that to happen in America because indirectly she illegally owns America and the Popes allowed that to happen. They've allowed permissive society to do what they want and Satan. Now, the Pope supported Sharia law. Now he's changed his mind and he's supporting Christians and Trump. You see how mixed up they are, the white man, and his laws. But I'm still going straight to Britain because they owe us for all the things that have happened while under contract to us. While under contract to us. That's the problem anybody has with contracts. All the Iwi Maori settling their contracts are flawed. They're all flawed because they have no queen there with seal. They haven't got the seal. You'll see the seals on these documents I give you, Dick. And so that's about all I can say at this stage. Um, and I hope you you uh, can let me know as soon as you can. Uh, because I'm still waiting for uh, if I can have the Marae or not. Otherwise, if I can't, I'll have to find another location um, and, and might be in your batch on the beach, um, but um, no, not there. Uh, it's too cold. Uh, I had one sleep night out there with no blankets, and the, but the fire was good. Um, I think um, Desmond will tidy that up when he comes down. He'll be useful, my nephew. Uh, to you, Desmond, uh, you've done a, a great job of sticking to me, coming up from Dunedin, and I see they're having um, uh, some silent protests in, in the Octagon again, and uh, so you should be down there with those people, your people, uh, all your Pākehā friends. Uh, you, I notice you've got some friends in overseas, uh, waiting, waiting patiently to uh, uh, join the Moai, and... Um, the shares in the title system, they seem to like what they see online. Uh, like I say, it's nothing but the truth, so help me God, it's the truth that I say. And that's what my life is all about. It's about the spirit that's missing in the queen's side of the equation, the spirits in the king's side, as kings always are. Uh, the man's best friend um, to keep things straight with them. It's supposed to stay in the king's hands. Our lands here are still under Taishan title, which is male dominant, not female dominant, but male to keep the titles from being sold. All the titles are sold are only bits of paper. That's all they are, instruments, and they can be forfeited. And I've already told Kingi, I'm advising Kingi Toto, Chief in Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, that <coughs> lands taken, stolen, lands returned, and with a bill, with a bill to take them back. So we're saying to people who who have land that they've bought, we'll get it out of the Crown and John Key's government to compensate you if the land was wanted back by the hapu. Otherwise, you remain there and look after it, and our job is to help anybody to preserve the land. And so we're going to catch up fast in uh, administering our lands with the people, not just uh, native people, but with the people, but bearing in mind that the native has the title and the contract to Britain. Our authority, our Britain and the British military is the other part of this stick that I wanted the British um, uh, judge to come on that block, or the police, military police, one or two, to come on that block when we get the buildings going and started building them on that land, 
with what I've drawn out already and put it online. Uh, so our intentions are quite clear to everybody what we do. We don't hide any secrets. It's not worth doing that when you've got a, a, a big backing of people that want the same treatment as what we are giving people here first. It'll go right through the well as a model that um, the military is obligated to look after our financial interests and investments and our pound note and this flag. Under this flag, they are obligated to come here on our land. That's what I wanted the uh, Haho 7B block at Rangitukia for the military on the um, um, mouth of the river, all that land up there for an airport, international airport for the uh, big Russian Antonovs to come in. Uh, and land there and bring equipment direct, military equipment for the seabeds. The British are uh, obligated to come with us. We give them authority to come here and set up all the protectorates in the sea with this protectorate flag flying on their ships and flying on their planes. Flying on our ships and flying on our planes too. Flying on Ranfilly Bay. This flag will be flying on Rain Free Bay once it's up at Waitangi before or on the 28th of October this year. 182 years this flag has been flying as continuity of sovereignty to Britain, UK and the kings of Britain. Okay, so that's the military side coming on our land box and training our people. They'll come here to train the Navy. British Navy will come, will come on our land box and will allocate um, housing for them with these um, houses, these build, that we're going to build uh, off the plan you see on the site I've got there. That's just one. They can stick them together and go up and out, up, out, and make them bigger on the same three bedroom system. Okay? Um, so that's all for now. Uh, I think I've said enough for this clip and I hope uh, you can see some sense in getting involved with us in the community of Victoria. Uh, oh, by the way, we're wanting to put a workshop and fuel station there uh, at the, on the, the roadside of uh, hitting a block at the bottom of the hill, the workshops. Uh, and. Um, and, and general store uh, and um, um, we we'll also have fuel, um, aircraft fuel up the top at the airport. We're putting a proposed airport up there uh, for the um, Cessna caravan um, um, Grand, Car Grand Car Caravan uh, 11 seater uh, aircraft to land there. That takes short short takeoff, there's only short short strip up there uh, at the back right off the top of the hill where I want to put the main office up the highest part of the hitting a 12 block. And unfortunately that's the first piece of land I've gone on on that's not that big. Uh, so I'm just going to utilize a little piece of land to make big things happen and um, didn't need a big big piece of land, just that one will do, it's mostly hill and bush. Um, so uh, um, that just about says it all, apart from you'll see um, um, pictures that I put onto the agenda. Uh, that's how I always do my, my presentations, it's always with pictures or videos and a screen. Um, so I don't need a screen, I'll just say it off the cuff because people um, don't want to hear anything else other than what's in it for them. And you'll see there's plenty in it for you um, and the family and all those others. Uh, apart from uh, sport and all that, that can happen uh, there as well. We wanted to put a stadium up uh, and a sports field for people coming there. People will come and fly in, backpacker, um, um, maybe, but um, mostly for training. It's just straight, straight business. Up there, and we've got to accommodate all the facilities on a uh, permit side of putting buildings and roading in 
and um, proper um, um, water systems and sewage systems and all that recycling put in there. There's lots of good ideas for that. So that's it really for now. I think I'd better go and uh, look at some things going on, on online and get ready to to get myself prepared for uh, Shannon Withers, my barrister, on the 4th. I've got four days to put things together, although he's got everything. I've sent him this agenda so he can see we're mean business. We mean business. Um, it's very serious what I do and say. Everything I say uh, can be challenged. If you don't challenge what I say, then I'm afraid that's the law. What I say is the law. John Key or his government ministers or, or the Governor General cannot answer what I say. It means they can't. They just can't. The police can't answer me. Uh, Natalie Flower Hugh Brown, detective, criminal detective, you're in trouble with the chiefs and me. You're in trouble because of what you did fraudulent to arrest me while I have this authority still right in front of the whole world getting bigger and bigger and Brexit now opens the way for us just as predicted to go into Westminster and use our mana authority on these lands that belong to us. We have no right to exercise police law without being a lawyer for a start. You're not a lawyer to come and bring your documents that's got no seal on it other than a police seal. That means nothing much because you haven't got the seal of the Queen. You have not got the seal of the Queen in the Supreme Court from Westminster because she's not there. That's your trouble. You're going to get caught. You're going to have to pay as a consequence of your mistakes. There's no tribunal for mistakes with Moai. When you make a mistake, you pay. You either get hung or you get jailed. Straight in the jail. That's what this flag is for. Pirates. You are a pirate. That's what I'm saying. John Key's a pirate. I can say that quite clearly. Straight on this video. You're a pirate because I say so. My chief says I do. Okay, because these are our lands. These are our lands. You've got your interests on top of the land and your title, your paper titles are on our land. We want it off. Right? That's all. That's as much as I want to say to the people at Rangitukia and at Port Awanui on the opposite side of the Waipu River that the best way to fix that river is to build them for everything of what we say to fix it, that's going to fix it. It's going to take a lot of machines to fix that up. And the military can come here and start fixing it up. They can fix it up with personnel that can fly in and fix it and make it better and make a start on it now. Start fixing all those hills. They've taken all those logs out. They're worth a lot of money what they took the logs out, but what they left behind was more, worth more than the logs that they took, the honey and everything. Okay, so that's all, Dick, uh, my mate in Rotoria. I loved the, the, the corn, the, the kanga kōpira, or rotten corn, that you gave me. I really loved it with the cream. Uh, and some sugar, bad sugar, that I'm not supposed to have. Um, and I love the steaks. I love those. Um, they were nice. So my, 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 my trip down um, will depend on you to let me know if we have the marae or not. Um, there's Tikapa marae up the road, but I'm wanting to go to your marae because I think it's the right one for me. Uh, to go to first, being closer to the land block, uh, although all the marais are um, in the same 
uh, vein of interest to any piece of land or foreshore seabed, they should know what I'm talking about as their interests. They need to know the law of the sea and what, what if John Key and his elite people um, took over this country by force of martial law, that this flag is the martial law on him, not him on us through America. That's what they're trying to fiddle their way through America and slam everybody up against the wall. That's bad. Okay, that's all. That's all for now. I better switch it off and say to you, good night. And see you again soon.